Hello Rambler Nation and welcome to another edition of the Superintendent Corner starring Scott Acom. Mr. Acom, how you been doing lately? I've been doing very well. How about yourself? I'm uh, doing well myself. Did you have a good holiday? We did. We did. It was nice. Uh, got to spend time with family and uh, relax a little bit. Um, looking forward to the Christmas holiday. You know, you went to get Thanksgiving done, you start planning for the next one. So yeah. how about how about yourself? Well, my my wife has the same rule. She says you can't finish a vacation before you plan the next one. There you go. <laughs> so. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so uh, it's been a while since we've been uh, on the air, so we've mm -hmm. got some things to talk about here. Uh, first thing, there's a big event coming up this Saturday. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that everyone's uh, aware of this event. We have a uh, full-scale exercise, um, uh, safety exercise, here at the school on Saturday morning. Um, that will include uh, the Masaki County Sheriff's Department, EMS, Fire Department. Um, so you'll see a lot of activity at the school, but want to just make sure that everyone knows that it, it is an exercise. It is a training to uh, help us be better, um, but also help law enforcement be better. We meet um, very regularly with the emergency manager, Masaki County Emergency Manager. Um, law enforcement's present. Um, the other school is Masaki County uh, to plan uh, safety. Um, exercises, but also safety um, plans and different things. So this is the first exercise that Masaki County has had in quite, quite some time, and I was pleased to have uh, McBain volunteer to be, to be the yep. first one. So. And so that's going to be Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then a side note, the school is off limits to any outside uh, activities or business or even Teachers yes. coming in to work in their classroom or anything. The building will be completely shut down until 1 o'clock uh, because we do have a girls' basketball game um, that afternoon finishing up the tournament. So, I'm sorry, I think it's 12.30. 12.30 is the building will back, open back up. Okay, so. so at 12.30 the building should be open back up for fans to come in for a basketball tournament. Basketball, hard yeah. to believe. I thought we just finished the last... Bump, set, spike, and kick off, and we now did, you're talking yeah. about basketball. We and did. Yeah. I um, also want to let parents know that um, the Cornerstone Coffee is having their Christmas gathering with, I believe, Santa um, that morning as well. This should not interfere with anything with that. We won't have roads blocked off or anything okay. like that. Okay. So. so this will not affect any of the businesses downtown. Correct. It'll just be on campus closed to the public. Correct. Excellent. All right. So... Uh, speaking of which, the, the school and the safety fund, or fund, mm -hmm. that's the key, key word, fund, we've got to talk about how the school's going to be funded, and you guys got some ideas coming up? Yeah, so we've been working for, golly, over a year now, um, looking at the, the needs of the district and how we can fund those. Um, we've been blessed with the ESSER funds um, that we've been using um, to help meet some of the district's needs um, with allowable expend expenses. Um, but we're looking down the road uh, uh, as far as uh, needs and wants of the district. Uh, one of our biggest needs right now is transportation, uh, in re resupplying our buses. Um, but we're looking at a way to try to uniquely fund these through bond and sinking fund ideas. Uh, we do have a meeting tonight um, at 7 o'clock in the Performing Arts Center um, to kind of talk about that as preliminary mm -hmm. stages to get some feedback from the community. Uh, we do have some community members that we've invited that are coming out, uh, but that will all, should also be on Rambler Review or on our school broadcast um, as well. Just looking really to get community input and in what our next steps forward should be. All right. So looking at bonds, sinking fund, what's the difference between the two? What do we need? What are our wants? A whole bunch of information given out. So tonight, come find out what's going on with your school district, and if you can't make it, We'll make sure it's available for you online. So, um, you got a note on there that says MTSS, PBIS. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's that? Uh, what are you talking about there? Well, education is the king of acronyms. So, there you go. I wanted to make sure we threw that in there. Um, this is an initiative um, that we are starting to implement this year uh, through the state of Michigan. We re received a grant uh, for this. Um, MTSS stands for Multi Tiered Systems of Support. We have this in place right now for academics uh, as we continue to build on that. But now we're also looking at behaviors with this program as well. Um, the PBIS is the Positive Behavior Intervention Supports. Uh, they go hand in hand. We've been training a small district team. Uh, golly, we started uh, this summer 
um, we, with meetings with the Department of Education, um, and it's carried out throughout the year. We've just built our school leadership teams um, so that we're able to implement this uh, full force next school year, um, making sure we're taking our time and, and building it with fidelity, making sure it's implemented well. Looking forward to the results. Um, you know, the research has shown that it really greatly improves attendance, behavior, uh, kids wanting to come to school, and which all in turn affects academics. Um, yes, it does. So uh, looking forward to this initiative and what it's going to bring to the McBain school community. All right. So looking at different ways to help students become more engaged in their school so they become more engaged in their learning. Correct. So that we produce better citizens that, out there. So. That was said very well. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like I'm a professional. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> oh, so, you know, at lunch yesterday, a bunch of me and my colleagues got together, and uh, Brian Fursell turns to me and says, you ready for the sprint? I go, yep, the sprint. The time from Thanksgiving to Christmas and how jam-packed we are here. Yes. How far away is it to Christmas break? Uh, our first day of Christmas break is December 22nd. Three weeks. Three weeks. We have exams in there, the 21st, or the 20th and 21st. Um, but also holiday concerts, basketball games, um, everything. A sprint is a great, great term <laughs> to use to describe it. Yeah, so, and I made this announcement. There's basically three weeks left for kids to do semester work, to get their grades where they want them. Then they have exams. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, all the extracurricular is going to be going full bore starting this Friday. This Friday, yep. Girls basketball starts this Friday. So, yeah, big important dates to know about. The semester's coming to an end. And the 20th and 21st, we have exams, and all the teachers will be given exams during that time. So make sure your kid knows about that, and they are getting themselves prepared for that. Right, and always check their grades in power school. We do weekly grade checks with your kids and making sure that they're staying on top of their academics. Now, I know some note up there that the first, break, first day of break is the 22nd, but they probably should know when they have to come back. Yes. So they come back Tuesday, January 3rd. That's right. Not on Monday, January 2nd. We will still have that day off. It'll be January 3rd on the Tuesday, the first day that we will have students back in the building and starting a brand new semester and fresh starts for everyone. So let's make sure we know about that. And uh, any other uh, news for the good for the cause? No, just we just keep plugging away. Teachers and, and, and staff are doing an excellent job. Uh, working with kids and working with families, and I'm just blessed to be a rambler. All right. Before we go, we have one last special feature, the Scott Acom dad joke of the day, Mr. Acom. Wow, put me on the spot. Uh, so a guy was walking the other day and fell in a well. He didn't see that well. On that note, you've been watching the Superintendent Corner with Scott Acom. This is Gary Vanna. Feel the wheel.